to What's Right with the World with your host, Glenn Ambrose. Hey, everybody. Welcome to What's Right with the World. So I have no idea what we're doing <laughs> because Ben just said ready and pointed at me. So, uh, but which is cool because Ben leads this stuff off anyway. So Ben, what are we talking about today? This might be the least prepared you've gone in. Yeah. Which yeah. not by much because I'm never prepared. <laughs> right. But, yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> this was literally like, we're just talking about something else. And then you were like, Hey, you ready? I'm like, yeah. Okay. And then you pointed at me. <laughs> completely off subject that's how i like to do it mm. uh all right so we have actually three just sort of feel good stories today <clears throat> um well, i like to feel good so. yeah so the first one was uh sort of a, a thank you letter that went viral um i don't know if you you got a chance to look at this but uh a man sold a vcr on ebay and in return, he got what might be one of the best thank you letters ever from the internet. Uh, it's it's an older woman who said that she found a bunch of uh, old VHS tapes that she had no idea what they were. And um, <laughs> really, I read I read that as an older man. I don't know. Maybe it was just in my head. Not that it really matters, but um. So. <laughs> so anyway it says uh some older person <laughs> it says i watched i watched tapes of my retirement party from 25 years ago which i had never seen before geez we were young uh then a tape of my wedding with all my family and friends many of which who are no longer around then of skiing trips kids growing up travels and most importantly the gentle maturing of my family each one more fun than the last. Thank you for your generous VHS player. Blah, blah, blah. And there's more before that and after that. But I, mm -hmm. I thought you would appreciate how much someone enjoyed your offer. Um, and, and what's cool is that, you know, the, the, VC, the, the actual letter is cool, but the fact that it went viral and so many people paid attention to the story, uh, I thought was cool. Yeah, I agree. And that's, that's it. It's going viral. It's, you know, Hey, a little, little, like, isn't this is nice. It really brought some joy into my life and people are going, Oh my God, this is so wonderful. I have to share it. <laughs> you know, like that's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, our second story is kind of hilarious. Um, it's from Canada and a grocery store inadvertently stayed open uh, last week. <laughs> On a national holiday, um, there was no one. There was no one working the store. Uh, they just forgot to lock it up. <laughs> so the store, the store was just open for a full day uh, with no one there and no one to stop anyone from going in. Um, only one person went in and took something. It was a box of cherry tomatoes, and they overpaid for it. <laughs> they they took the cherry tomatoes which was all they needed and they left more money than it cost <laughs> they must have really needed those cherry tomatoes probably making a sauce yeah <laughs> <laughs> they're like oh crap i need cherry tomatoes so so anyway yeah this uh the store just accidentally stayed open and nothing bad happened wow there is good in this world. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then our, I, I told you, they're just kind of light feel-good stories this week. And then our last story uh, is about a man who, and this is hilarious also, and very sweet, a man bought $540 worth of Girl Scout cookies so that the girls didn't have to stay out in the cold. Yeah. You know, when you when you go to the store and you see the Girl Scouts staying outside, um, asking people to buy Girl Scout cookies, this guy was like, it's cold. I'm just going to buy everything so you have to go home. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's also, the type, of, also that's who, the type of stuff I'd love to do. And also, who doesn't want $540 worth of Girl Scout cookies? Right. Then yeah. you can just hand them to everybody you know. <laughs> Absolutely. 
Uh, or just sit home for two weeks and yeah. gorge. <laughs> uh, so, so there are other stories that we'll get that we'll get to next week. But I just wanted a really uh, uh, like those were three stories that were all feel good, light, fun stories that i thought that was a a nice i mean it's you know it's an uplifting show anyway it's literally what's right with the world but um but sometimes i I think it's just fun to have just some fun fun little stories as well yeah it is and it's you know just to know that this stuff is going on out there randomly and and it's getting media attention yeah you know some guy bought up a bunch of girl scout cookies and it's getting media attention Somebody wrote a thank you letter for VCR and it's getting media attention. It's going viral. Like, I mean, it's, it's amazing, you know, and this stuff is catching fire and I see it more and more. And like, I, uh, I started writing articles for that, that place. I got (laughs) to inspire, inspire more, inspire more. Yeah. I said writing and they have a neat thing that uh, they send out these, these um emails every monday and they they are on this basis of little feel good stories what's going on that's that's uplifting and right in this world you know so other people are doing it too and it's it's really it's nice to have it spread like this that's really awesome uh what's right with your world this week glenn what's right in my world What's not right in my world there would be a better question. <laughs> uh, no, uh, I don't know. everything's good. You know, I think uh, I think I'm excited, especially this week, because I'm wrapping up the writing of my first book, and that's exciting. <clears throat> so hopefully, I'll have the writing wrapped up by the end of this week, and then I can start just going through it and putting it together in a little bit more order and stuff like that. And, with your help, I hope, holy cow, because <laughs> yeah, it's an undertaking. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I'm excited. I just, yeah, that's just how I have to write. I just have to write and write. And then after that, just write, just put stuff out. I can, you know, the more, if I start trying to control the structure and stuff, I get thrown. So I've just <laughs> written a bunch of content and not worry about putting it together later. So. Awesome. So that's what's right with my world this week, especially. What's right in your world, Benjamin? I don't know. Um, I, no, I, uh, I, I, don't, I started to do a lot of little things uh, this week that just all made me feel good and better and whatever. Um, so I don't know, just weird stuff that, that – like uh I watched like a half an episode of the the tidying up show on Netflix and I was like, I got it. That's <laughs> what well, one episode of that was enough. I like I like I like what we did there. So I uh like I I went and reorganized my room and stuff. And I was like, this does this feels nice. Um and uh yeah, started um, started making some different choices and stuff, and uh, I feel good. Good. Yeah. So Very good. Yeah. So that's it. Um, also, we have a uh, kind of a big week. We got some more. Um, we just had our fifth anniversary of Life Lessons and Laughter uh, this past weekend, which was awesome. Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a. Uh, a show where we briefly talk about it next week's life lessons and laughter. We briefly talk about that. Um, not for the whole episode though. And then, uh, it it was nice to get some, um, some like nice messages from people. Mm. And, uh, I, it tripped me up today. I think you got a comment, um about someone who was uh listening to some episodes of life lessons and laughter as they were shoveling and do you, on face do you remember yeah. that yeah and i was like that's so snow weird shoeing, i think oh snowshoeing i believe so i thought it was shoveling but any mm-hmm. but regardless like i just it's weird because i listen to podcasts and stuff and audiobooks like all the time when i'm doing 
things. And it's really weird to think that other people are listening to this. Oh yeah. I get that all the time. People are, you know, people tell me they're like, Oh, you know, I uh, snowshoeing, biking, running. Um, sometimes they're doing jobs and that aren't, you know, where they don't need an extended amount of focus. So they're listening to just episode after episode after episode while they're at work, you know, and I, I think I got those three specific examples just in the last two days. From, yeah. From people. It's crazy. So, yeah. Uh, also, if you, if you uh, want more, if you want the video of this episode and, and all sorts of stuff like that, check out patreon.com slash Glenn Ambrose. Um, a lot of cool stuff over there. Uh, a really fun behind the scenes. People always ask about Dave from Life Lessons and Laughter, the, the other producer of the show. Yeah. Uh, if you if you want to see just the coolest video uh, of what life is like in Rhode Island right now, check <laughs> out. Uh, go, go to Patreon. It's worth it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's 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 a fun little glimpse um, into Dave and I's life at the moment. Uh, which is very cool. It's yeah, it's fun. Um, and there's tons of behind the scenes stuff. Glenn always shares stuff like that on there. Uh, and if you need life coaching or anything else, glennambrose.com. I told you, I feel good. I can't stop talking this week. <laughs> Ben's feeling good. You st- you're turning into me. You can't stop talking. <laughs> it's weird. Uh, all right. Well, I'll wrap it up for you, Ben. All right. Thanks everybody for listening. <laughs> it's your, it's, to be fair, to be fair, you're always the one that's supposed to wrap it up. Yeah, I guess. Whatever. It's your show. It's my show. All right. It's not, well, it's not, it's not my show. My show is life lessons in laundry with Ben Barber. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, that'll do it for today. Thanks for listening everybody. We'll talk at you soon. Glenn is available for life coaching sessions. To book an appointment or for more information, go to glennambrose.com, follow him on Facebook and Twitter, or click the link in the description of this episode.